How's it going there everybody? It's Mr. Zen over here bringing you guys a brand new One Piece chapter discussion. And for today's segment guys, we're going to be talking about is chapter 859. The three-way pirate alliance has finally been set and it's finally being orchestrated with a grand master plan that Capone Bege has actually thought of for many years underneath Big Mom Pirates. And the thing about that, that I actually enjoying this chapter about is the fact that the way Capone Bege was actually explaining his master plan. Yes, folks, this whole entire chapter was all about Capone Bege explaining his plan to the Straw Hats, to Jinbei, the captain of the Sun Pirates, to Caesar, and none other than, you could say, you know, the Big Mom Pirates, you know, little underlings right there, Brule and the little Choo Choo Train guy. I forgot his name, but I really don't care because he is irrelevant to the story whatsoever now because of everything that is happening right now in this specific chapter itself. There are so many things going on that Capone Bege actually has this plan really orchestrated to a, to a T, folks. To a freaking T. But it's the plan itself is actually, you know, helping Capone actually able to orchestrate due to the fact that he's actually making these alliances. Because it seems that Luffy himself might actually be just there to distract the Big Mom Pirates. But none other than Caesar himself. Caesar is the one that I'm actually interested in. Caesar is the one that's actually helping Capone Bege orchestrate this plan much to frustration thanks to his technological advancement and his, you could say, his actually thoughtfulest brain. And I'm loving Caesar in this chapter, folks. I'm just loving him to the point because I love scientists. I always love how scientists are used in every single anime or manga. Scientists are always going about with lucrative ideas throughout every single scene and you're here wondering that you know Caesar hasn't had his own time to shine throughout this whole, whole entire arc itself that he was seen as just a comic relief but no in this chapter folks chapter 859 Caesar my god we gotta give him a round of applause because this guy he, he's come up with some good ideas right there nonetheless it's funny how they're actually mocking Caesar but it's because they're mocking him because they know that Caesar himself is is the he's got the big cojones right now. He's got the big cojones in the table itself that he himself is one of the top dogs right now. And I can't wait to see what Caesar's gonna be doing in later chapters. Now, before I move on, guys, I'm gonna transition a little bit as to what actually Caesar was actually explaining and what he's actually helping Capone make it. And that is a fact that he's creating a poisonous gas for you could say Bege, the Bege Pirates, the Fire Tank Pirates themselves. And this poisonous gas, if I remember correctly, it was Organus Fate? Organus Fate, if I remember correctly. Hold on, folks. We gotta... Oh, yes. It was Organophosphate. Ah, there you go, guys. Yeah, that's a very huge tongue twister. Organophosphate. Organophosphate. There you go. Much better. Sounds a little bit better, right, folks? But the point is, Organophosphate, this... This type of poison, I actually have to Google this and see what what type of poison is. And basically, it's just a it's a nerve, it's a nerve ending poison. It affects the, the body's functioning skills. And the thing about that, that that's actually lethal in, in itself. That if taken in large doses, it could actually be very fatal in itself. So Caesar himself actually orchestrated a very a very important piece of equipment. I believe uh, he actually made he made that poisonous uh, gas into this this type of device like a kx on it looks like a a missile launcher of some sorts and uh, the thing about that it's a pesticide if you guys google that itself organophosphate is a pesticide in itself and and that's hilarious because <laughs> is oda trying to go with the pun of saying that this is just gonna be this, this tea party itself is it gonna be a giant like insects bugs and like not necessarily like a word on play as to say that you know it's just gonna be a giant bunch of animals and monsters themselves that they need pesticide to get rid of them. Like I don't know if that's like the, the pun that Oda was trying to go with itself, or if it was the translators themselves that they were trying to make a pun right there. But nonetheless, I, I thought that was a little bit funny in a, in a sense. It was like more of those those smart Alec jokes. That's like, oh, okay, uh, uh, it's a it's a good fun pun, yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, so guys, continuing on. Like I said, this KX launcher is supposed to go and penetrate 
Big Mom's skin. But as we all know, Big Mom is a young core. So, so y'all guys are wondering as to how it's actually going to penetrate her skin. And that is what makes it very interesting because Beggy actually still has thought of a plan, folks. He still has thought of a plan that how to penetrate that dark, deep, indis- impenetrable skin. And that is... And that is, folks, Mother Caramel's photo itself. We have yet to actually know about who yet Mother Caramel is, but Beggy was actually giving a little bit of brief explanation as to how Big Mom can actually be taken down, and none other than Mother Caramel. And it seems that Mother Caramel seems to be this plot device that will actually make Big Mom seem human because as we all know Big Mom seems she's a Yonko she's got this Conqueror's hockey because apparently if they damage Mother Caramel's photo and apparently by the way Mother Caramel is I believe is is like an acquaintance or or some kind of family member within the Charlotte family that we have yet to see but it seems that she made a huge impact on on Big Mom herself that she's actually able to bleed folks yes none other than Beggy himself had actually stated that Big Mom can actually bleed and we have never seen that through any of the Yonkos. Yes, we've seen it through Blackbeard himself, but that's because he's on a whole he's another topic that we can all discuss in another another video. But for now, let's talk about Big Mom. But like I said, Big Mom actually bleed is actually able to bleed. And it seems to me it seems it might be like a PTSD or some kind of memory lapse that actually reminds Big Mom of her past memories with with this mother caramel character. As to we don't even know who this mother caramel is. Maybe it might have been Big Mom in her past time or maybe now nah, i'm joking guys it must, it's not big mom herself it, the point is the fact that mother caramel must have been a very powerful character or someone to actually able to actually put big mom in that kind of state to be weakened to a point that she can actually be distracted and she can actually take damage you know it's it's a very important plot device that we all cannot overlook mother caramel herself must be a very important character that is going to be explained in future chapters i'm hoping oda will actually explain as to who she might be or at least give us a, a history with mother caramel with big mom herself now like i said <clears throat> oh and let's not forget guys let's not freaking forget big uh what's it called capone Bega actually explained too that when of course when they drop Mother Caramel's photo at the tea party. Yes, folks, can just remember this is still a tea party. It's not. It's not a regular old school gangster shootout. No, no, it is a freaking tea party itself. Yes, at the tea party, Big Mom will actually. Yeah, she has like this type of strong voice that is able to make everybody knock out. And I'm here thinking maybe that's her conquerors hockey, but not necessarily her voice. But then Beggy then like explained that they you know then you have to also watch out for her conquerors hockey. So which makes me believe that her voice her she has some powerful lungs right there. Her freaking giant lungs, as you can say. Hmm. It's a very interesting point to look out, guys. Like I said, everything that Oda always states is always very important, folks. Do not overlook any single detail that Oda has said in this chapter because this chapter was just bombarded with pure information that we cannot overlook. Now, we have to move on, guys, because of the fact that there's another topic that I do want to talk about. And that in itself is, what's it called? Pudding. Pudding herself, folks. Oh, my God. Pudding. The reason I'm saying, oh my god, Pudding, is due to the fact that Pudding might be this another X Factor in itself. And by the way, I'm, why what I mean by X Factor is the fact that she's a person that can actually betray Big Mom. Because we, as you notice in the chapter, we saw that she was getting dressed for the wedding. She was she was putting on her, her, her white dress right there. You know, and she had Nitro and, and the little carpet guy right, right alongside her. And she was talking about like that she has a lot of work to do in order for the wedding plan to go going accord to her own ideals. And it's hilarious because it makes me think so when Caesar drops that gas or when the, the gas is actually thrown out there, will that be will that be Pudding's actual plan to actually change everybody's memories? That's what I'm personally like I'm kinda hoping for. Because that might be interesting, that Pudding really might be sided with Capone. Because I still believe, firmly believe in that theory that, 
that night since you know nitro is capone bege's soul and nitro is really working well with putting herself as a homie so it go, maybe that might be a, a little clue as to that maybe capone really is working with putting herself that i'm personally wondering like hmm hmm guys hmm we might be onto something and pretty might change the memories of everybody at the tea party and the wedding ceremony in order for her to, to actually execute her type of plan that she wants to execute. Like I said, it's interesting to see what pudding might bring to the table, folks. So watch out for pudding still. Like I said, I'm loving how Oda is actually giving each, a lot of characters right there some much development and much exposition right there. That Loving this chapter. Chapter 859, Bombardment of Good information there folks and it's hilarious because Capone Bege respects this character now due to the fact that he's sly but this guy's got it made and I can't wait for the next couple chapters folks I can't wait so like I said that's it for today's chapter guys let me know down in the comments in case anything that I might have missed in this chapter but nonetheless so guys what are you guys thoughts on Caesar himself this guy's gonna be a major important character at the tea party ceremony itself I can't wait to see that KX launcher being used what are you guys thoughts on the KX launcher as well do you guys think that's gonna be used ag against Big Mom or is it gonna be on the overall hierarchy picture that Pudding might use that to take advantage of it too as well the KX launcher wasn't just shown for laughs guys it, it's a very important piece of information right there we we just gotta tie it in together and what do you guys think of Luffy's party going to the troubles of doing this this tea party ceremony it seems that i personally want to see what luffy is capable because you know all this comic relief parts it was showing luffy as to how he's going to make his entrance so maybe that's what everybody's really looking for as how luffy's going to make it to the tea party ceremony itself let me know down in the comments below as to what also you guys thoughts on luffy's entrance how he's going to ent enter itself and last but not least guys let me know what do you guys think on big mom herself what do you guys think of who Mother Caramel is? What do you guys think is she... What did she do to Big Mom in order for her to act in that certain manner? In a manner that it makes her seem human, you could say. But like I said, that's it for today's folks. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below as to what you guys thoughts also on the whole chapter itself. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy my content, don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more One Piece chapter discussions. And as always, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. But this is Mr. Zen. Signing out.